Dear Maronite youth in the United States, I greet you with joy, brought forth from the glorious birth of our Lord. I am very happy to address you during this Christmas event that you are hosting. I thank your bishops, Gregory Monsour and Elias Zaidan, for asking me to send this message to you. Despite the distance that separates us, the incarnate Word of God unites us and is united with each of us. Our Maronite traditions and spirituality unite us. And myself, as Father and Head, feel united to you and to each and every one of the sons and daughters of our Church. In a world that seems to constantly ask us to conform to its ways, it is so refreshing to see young people so dedicated to their Maronite Church like yourselves. Our tradition is filled with so many treasures some of which have been uncovered and some others remain hidden waiting for you to show them forth through your life, your talents and your witness to Christ in this world. This past year has been a struggle for all people around the world. As for us in Lebanon, we have had to bear with many trials and continue to persevere through many economic, political, and health issues. But now, the burden has become extremely heavy with the COVID-19 pandemic that paralyzed our educational, industrial, economic, commercial, as well as touristic institutions. To top it all came the disastrous explosion of the port of Beirut that destroyed the eastern half of the city inhabited by Christians. Unfortunately, the government fell without doing anything to deal with the tragedy. As for the United States, you experienced a year filled with health issues alike, but also racial intolerance, political unrest, natural disasters, and more. We have all carried many crosses this year. On the Lebanese national level, we believe that the only way forward for Lebanon is to adopt the system of active neutrality. That concept is an integral part of the very nature and identity of the states. Such neutrality keeps Lebanon out of regional as well as international conflicts and restitutes the sources of its economy and allows it to play its role as an agent of stability in the region and a venue of encounter and dialogue. I count on you, dear youth, to understand that concept well and become the best pioneers promoting it in the American society around you. As you all reflect on a night in Bethlehem, I ask you to make room in your hearts for the infant Jesus. This is what our world needs today. We need to welcome God back into our daily life, our schools, our churches, our world. Don't allow yourselves to be the innkeepers 
that closes the door, or rather be the one who stands with the shepherds and exclaims from the rooftops, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and good hope to all. Young people, I ask you this Christmas to renew your commitment to your ever-loving God, who became man to show you the indescribable love. Renew your commitment to influence this world with faith and hope like salt in the earth that you are called to be, and renew your commitment to set the world on fire with love like the light of the world that you are. I impart my apostolic blessing upon you all through the intercession of Our Lady of Lebanon, Saint Maron, and all the saints. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody of you.